Hey, would you like to see everything I made for the month of June? Well, stick around, grab a cuppa, and I'm going to show you everything I've made here. Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to my June Makes. I've been promising this for the last few episodes that it's coming. Quite a bit here to get through. I have been very busy in June and you'll know here in Australia, we are in the middle of winter. That doesn't mean there's not enough inspiration here for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere. I have got a quite a few transitional, transseasonal makes. So I hope you'll join me. Go and grab a cuppa. There's quite a lot to get through. First of all, what am I wearing today? Well, I have got a gorgeous little top that is made from really pretty knit fabric from Tazuti. Now, if you haven't watched my episode that I went shopping in the Melbourne Flinders Lane store of Tazuti Fabrics, I picked up a couple of things that day. I just couldn't resist this gorgeous knit. Now, this pattern is the Amara vest. It's a really simple little boxy style top. Now, this Amara vest is not done in boiled wool. And it just goes to show you, if you did want to do the boiled wool without the finished edges, you can go ahead and do that. But if you wanted to do a knit that you need to bind, you can either use the wool binding that they actually show you how to do that in the tutorial, or you can use something like I have, and that's a Ponty finish on the edges. So I've done the ponty edging on the pockets, on the neck binding and just on the sleeve. And this is really cozy. I'm wearing this over the top of another great little make that I made for June. And this is the Keep It Simple Babe uh, top with a roll neck, just to fit a little simple style t-shirt. It's got lots of different variations, lots of sleeves, necklines. Uh, and I've done it in a gorgeous lightweight merino. And I find the merino is fantastic for layering through all seasons. In particular, if you don't like a thick, really chunky layering, if you prefer something light and warm, the merino is fantastic. Now, I think I purchased this merino from the fabric store online. Uh, they do do international shipping and they have a great variety of beautiful merino wool and knits. And by memory, I think Tazuti also does provide international shipping. I know a lot of my viewers from uh, the US and from Canada have gone on to purchase some beautiful Tazuti fabrics and been in love when they've been sent over. Um, yeah, so it's a great service there. Um, yeah, so this is a really lovely little top. Uh, I love yeah, layering this over some jeans. Um, yeah, it's just nice when you want something a bit cozy, but not too sort of chunky as far as longer arms. A really simple, quick sew as well. So the Amara vest and the Keep It Simple Babe top. Now the next makes were at the start of the month and that was the beautiful every day's a weekend pattern emporium dress we did a special feature uh, pattern release on that you guys all loved that one it's very similar to the one that was just released which was the dream on dress but this is a boxy style bodice it comes in a, just a boxy style bodice or a more tapered style bodice you can do mini midi or maxi length you can do it in plenty of different arm lengths uh, as well as the beautiful bishop sleeve. Uh, the neckline I've chosen is a V-neck. Now, if you are afraid of V-necks, don't be afraid. If you want to follow Pat Emporium's fantastic tutorial there, uh, you will get your hand held right through that whole instructional um, little uh, pictures there that are fantastic. Also, they've got great tutorials on their YouTube uh, site on Pattern Emporium as well. So it really takes you through how to do that from start to finish. And I've done a little cap sleeve on that as well. But it is also beautiful in the other versions, which I'll show you. Um, this is a double brush poly that was from Lush Fabrics here in Australia. And I love this dress. This is great. It's going to be great for summer and spring as well as layering for winter with some tights and boots. So that is the Everydays a Weekend dress. The other two versions of the Everydays a Weekend dress would be this beautiful rib knit that was from Pit Trading and they had some fantastic remnant sales every Friday night. I tend to be popping online there and seeing what's on sale and you do tend to get some great end of bolts, uh, end of designer bolt fabrics as well at a great markdown price. So I picked up three meters of this uh, for a really cheap price. But yeah, that's Pit Trading in Sydney. And I've gone for this model I've gone for the everyday to weekend dress the rolled neck um, that you get provided in that pattern as well as the bishop sleeve which is a beautiful balloony type sleeve and the pockets and I've gone for the midi length as well so it's just got the shorter tiers and it works really well this fabric tends to grow a little bit being a rib knit so it probably has grown a good size or so but it really doesn't bother me because I tend to wear it with a little jacket and some tights as well. 
and I really love this neck. It's kind of an in-between uh, in between a cowl and a polo neck. So that nice kind of loose drapey style neck and a bit more cozy for the winter months. But that's a great little dress for all seasons. And you can see the one I've made here in the short bishop sleeve, the gorgeous mauve color, love this color. It's just a cotton jersey uh, and I've done it, yeah, as I say, the shorter bishop. And I think it works really well if you love that kind of in-between length sleeve. It's a really pretty style on. And I've gone for the same midi length, no pockets this time, and just the basic uh, crew neck on that one too. So you can really dress it up with accessories. It's nice sometimes to go for a bold, plain color. Uh, I tend to love prints. I'm really swayed by prints, and I really love a really pretty print. It seems to sell itself. Uh, and then I find I have so many prints in Kookaburra in the wardrobe that I am looking and craving more basic planes so that's what I'm working on at the moment getting some more basic plain colors like a mix and match through but look who doesn't love a print it's something that if you feel good wearing it it makes you it just pops out the wardrobe and really makes you want to pull it out every time so yeah I am a big huge print fan but I also love a nice bright vibrant plain so that is the pattern emporium every day is a weekend dress and I've got links for that below all these patterns will be linked below in my description box I always have a lot of people asking that they can't find the patterns um, if you are on a device uh, as far as like a mobile phone you can do a drop down little the little triangle that you press and it drops down the description box and you'll see every single pattern linked in every episode that I do I always try and link the fabrics if I can still find them, the ones that I've used. Sometimes they tend to sell out fast, so I'll link the store that I um, bought them from just in case there's something there that um, sort of intrigues you as well that you may like a similar kind of fabric, maybe in a different print. So I always endeavor to uh, link the fabrics too, but all the patterns are always linked in my description box as well. So don't forget to check that out if you're interested in any of the patterns I've talked about today. And I've got to tell you, it is so cold out here. I mean, you guys in the Northern Hemisphere, of course, you'd laugh at that when I say it's cold here because it's about eight degrees here and it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. The, the fog, the mist hasn't lifted and there's no sun. As soon as that sun comes out, it will really uh, warm warm up the day a little bit. Um, so our cold winters here in Melbourne, and we get to sometimes zero overnight where I am here, Um Look, we're about a good hour and a half drive away from the mountains, which we can go and see the snow. Um, but we're also about 10 minutes away from the beach. So kind of in between everywhere. So our winters are not particularly freezing. We don't get snow in our yard or anything like that. And I do have a lot of you asking about how cold it gets. So I don't have to dig up my dahlias every year. I get to leave them in the ground because we don't freeze over. So that way they do multiply and you get a lot more blooms the next year. So I know that if you're in a really cold climate where you get frost and a lot of snow and ice that you do need to dig and lift up your dahlias every year to divide them up. So I don't have to do that. But our summers, we get to around, well, we've had days at 45 degrees Celsius at the very hottest. Uh, normally for summer, we range anywhere from 30 degrees up to 40 degrees here in Melbourne. Uh, we aren't particularly a humid climate. We're down, uh, if you, this is if you're not from Australia, most Aussies will know <laughs> what the climate's like here. We don't get uh, really humid weather. It's more hot and dry here in summer. And if you go up north towards uh, up north Queensland, and it's very, very humid, sticky, more tropical. Our summers are more particularly uh, hot and dry. Uh, we do live in a uh, bushfire prone kind of area. We have got a lot of natural bushland about two or three kilometres from us. So we do have to be careful uh, in summertime and really uh, watch out for that. For winter, we're pretty mild compared to a lot of the northern hemisphere. But in Australia, we are considered a cooler climate down here in Melbourne and in particular in Tassie. Uh, it is the coolest climate because we are so close to Antarctica on the map when you look at where Melbourne is situated. So we do get lots of cold, blustery weather. Back onto the sewing. Uh, this is a gorgeous little top that I've been meaning to make for a long time now. And it's a Friday Pattern Company Adrian, Adrian top. That is the Adriana dress and the Adrian top. I always get them confused. And it's in a beautiful uh, jersey 
uh, organic jersey cotton from Fabric Hunt here in Australia. Great little fabric online store. You can go on uh, Venture and have a look at what uh, the lovely Cherie has got. And this, I just love this beautiful rust print. I really love the top. It's beautiful. And I must say the statement sleeves are gorgeous. Make sure when you're making it that you get your elastic tight enough over your shoulder if you're like me and you got kind of got sloping shoulders you might need to tighten it that little bit more if you don't want it to be falling off because that's my pet peeve i cannot stand it when straps fall off my shoulders uh, and i'm prone to that uh, so i always like to make sure it's nice and tight um, so always do that before you stitch that up there make sure that the elastic's perfect for you it is a very fitted top it is not the longest top in the world if you're wanting to have something a bit longer i would suggest uh, leaving it longer and then altering the length as you go um, but the as for the pattern instructions it's quite more of a cropped or mid-length kind of top so if you don't like things that fit and cropped make sure before you cut your fabric that you get your length sorted out there but i made mine probably about eight centimeters longer than what the pattern suggested because i wanted to kind of either tuck it in or leave it sitting out over the jeans um, but yeah it is fitted i made an extra large it is a fitted top don't get me wrong it's a lovely top to wear but if you're not a fan of that fitted shape you may want to add a little bit to the width of that but it is the style i don't want to take away from the style because it's a sort of thing that i'll wear with a little jacket maybe tucked into a um, pair of pants to show off the shape of it uh, or even a denim skirt but really love the sleeve i think it's just so dramatic and beautiful a really classic style and it's the same the front and back are the same piece uh, so there's not a lot of as far as shaping there's no darts or anything like that being a stretch but really lovely top really loved it on as well and i'll be wearing that lots with some things i've made to go with it we'll show you that next now a couple of months ago uh, i came home from the city that i went out i think it was for hubby's birthday we went in the city for a weekend and i uh, went to some fabric stores as, as you do drag the hubby around <laughs> and i found some great fabric from the fabric store in fitzroy that was eight dollars a meter and it's like a um, kind of a basket weave knit and a bit of stretch not overly stretchy but enough stretch there i thought make a gorgeous my embrace cardigan from pattern emporium uh, i had about three or four meters of it so i thought it'd be perfect to make the full long length um, my embrace now it's exactly as it describes it embraces you it envelops your body you can cuddle up cozy up wrap it around wraps around your whole body basically because of that beautiful curved um front and that curved bottom it's a beautiful style cardigan i loved it so much i made the um kind of shorter sleeve when you cut it out it is on one huge pattern piece on the fold but my particular fabric wasn't quite wide enough so i had to put the seam up the back so you can do that so it's basically two pieces which is both sides and then you've got your optional cuff pieces which you can decide to do uh, the shorter cuff or add on the sleeve as well and i love this so much i've worn this out and it's just so cozy it goes with lots of different garments i've worn this over jeans over a dress it's something you can really dress up as well so if you're wanting a nice glam kind of long line duster jacket this is perfect uh, but if you're also wanting something cozy and cuddly and a nice maybe a cable knit it's great for that as well it's also fantastic in t-shirt or jersey knits as well as you're in summer and you're wanting just a little throw on kind of thing to wear at night if it cools down or even in maybe a beautiful stretch mesh fabric would be beautiful for summer with a little tank top pair of jeans i've got so many of these planned for summer because that's one thing i find in summertime i look for those little throw over pieces maybe i don't want to have um, a singlet top on all day and i want to have something to cover it up or dress it up a bit that kind of uh, kimono style or wraparound style cardigan or duster style is so practical and something you probably need in your wardrobe but just don't even know it yet um, but that's the full length one I made I also made a uh, mid length there's there's three different three or four different lengths in this you can do a shorter one as well um, this is in a beautiful knit um, marl rusty color knit fabric from pit trading as well show you that up close I'll show you the basket weave up close so you can see as well it's a really really lovely fabric and that was also great on the reverse side so you can always do knits on the reverse side if you're wanting something a bit different don't forget you can experiment with fabrics and the inner or outer sides this one in particular is beautiful soft fabric so cozy and i did the add-on 
longer style sleeve which is just a piece added onto the edge there and you'll see it's like a great big triangular pattern piece this one i had to do the same thing with the seam up the back because i didn't have a wide enough fabric and you'll find that you may need to do that but it's really easy to do and you just fold over the front either twin stitch or zigzag that in it's just the most simple uh, cardigan you can ever make and really cozy and lovely to wear but uh, this i think i should be popping over the top of this very shortly because I'm getting really chilly out here but wearing that kind of duster style uh, longer line cardigan really draws the eye brings makes the body look taller longer um, it really uh, is a beautiful drape long line and it, it's just really teases up a pair of jeans and a simple tee so I love wearing those and I've definitely got more in the makes for summer I think I could definitely have one of these in every color and be happy. So even in a print, I just think a beautiful print soft jersey or t-shirting fabric would be really lovely to wear over maybe a pair of shorts for summer as well. So um, yeah, great little basics there. The My Embrace cardigans from Pattern Emporium that we linked below as well. The next make for June was this gorgeous uh, Nexus blouse from Paper Cut Patterns. I hadn't made Paper Cut Patterns before. It's my first time sewing that up. Um, from memory, uh, I made a straight size six. So you've got to look at your um, measurements because they're not traditional sizing on that. I think I looked at um, the finished garment measurements to decide on a size. Of course, I always have to shorten my sleeve. So I did that. Um, make sure you do check your sleeve like that before you put this beautiful uh, cuff on because it does have a very deep cuff and you'll see that um, I've worn that and these beautiful buttons were from cloth edit I'll show you that up close as well little beautiful wooden buttons the fabric itself was from fabric hunt and this was gifted to me from lovely sherry uh, I really love this I think it's lady McElroy uh, viscose beautiful soft and drapey and I've gone for the long line um, version this is a crop version as well which is not really crop but more of a boxy style fit this one has the beautiful tapered uh, rounded hem a little bit shorter at the back than at the front and you can wear it in reverse a lot of people have worn it back to front and had the buttons at the back and also the same goes with the other version as well this one can be tied at the front as well or tied at the back so it's a really versatile little blouse um, I've got the aura dress ready to be made up as well I've got the fabric and pattern there printed out that will be my next um, go-to paper cut pattern but I am always wary starting a new pattern company and when the sizes aren't traditional and you really need to look at things like your measurements and sometimes it's a great idea to make up a, a toile in maybe a cheaper fabric first to get the fit right before you go and jump into your beautiful um, more expensive fabric if you're doing that um, but yeah really happy with the fit and the shape of it and um, loved wearing the Nexus flowers. The next make was this beautiful little dress the dolly dress from the latest fiber mood um, magazine that's out a lot of you are asking if you can get them uh, in Australia I'm pretty sure you have to uh, query that on their website you can get them mailed over if you want a physical copy that is if you are happy to have the uh, digital copy anywhere in the world you can download that as well or if you're just wanting to get the individual patterns you can do that too which is what I usually do fiber move patterns are always really lovely on they're always got lovely simple styles but those kind of things that you might be missing in the wardrobe um, but I loved um, this on I think it was beautiful beautiful dress to wear uh, this fabric was from Draper's Fabrics it's a viscose uh, it does say to make it in a cotton but I went for a viscose to have a bit more drape because the sleeves are really quite um, dramatic and billowy I just think it lends itself nicely to a viscose and they're really nice little tie at the front the only thing I did have a little bit of trouble with was the neckline binding and the instructions had a um, kind of a different way of making that up but I got there in the end and I just think sometimes things are done a little bit differently to the way you might want to do it and it's okay to do it your own way if you are more confident go for it I would always say that because sometimes I doubt my own technique and I think oh, I'll just go with what they the way they do it sometimes it works well uh, sometimes it works better than the way you do it and sometimes it actually works worse than the way you do it so yeah it's just a matter of um, kind of playing around with sewing and experimenting and finding out what works best for you and if you've got a better way of doing it it's your garment you can do that I think sometimes pattern um, creators have got a certain image in mind they wanted to sew in a certain way and you've got to always respect that as well but I always think if it's the same look at the end and the same finish on the garment go for it if you've got a better way of doing that I think it's well worth um, going with the flow and, and using your own way 
but that's a beautiful little dress that one for summer hey hanging in there time to get another cup already i've got lots more to get through uh, this is a beautiful dress this fabric was sent to me by the beautiful ladies at fabric deluxe if you didn't see my episode on that uh, store tour uh, in footscray i'll link that as well you can go back and check that out because they are the loveliest people steph and carita there that run the store had actually sent me a new um bit of fabric here that she let me choose the lady mcelroy release that she had there, her cotton lawns in she's got a beautiful range there hop on over to fabric deluxe and see what else they've got i just love this koi fish fabric um in this green color it's just so um kind of asian inspired beautiful bright kind of red thread it looks like embroidery i'll show you up close the little koi fish it just pops out was the cranes on there as well i decided to make my favorite one of my favorite dresses from 2020 and that's the hope dress from styler it's a simple dress it's there's nothing out of the ordinary about it it's not got any really unique style lines but i haven't seen anything quite like it before so i suppose you could say it is a bit more unique when you find something really different that just sits really well on the body it's the kind of thing you want to make lots of and i knew straight away i had 2.5 meters i knew that most dresses can be touch and go with 2.5 depending on what you do but i knew the hope dress used exactly that because i made one for christmas and loved it the thing i love most about this dress is the beautiful shape that it gives the bodice with with having a little bit of ease around the skirt and the gathering not too much gathering but just enough there to give you a bit of a billowy skirt i love the raglan sleeve and i also love the length of that kind of mid uh, or three quarter sleeve i would say um, it's just got just enough of everything i love the faced neckline and the little button at the back i love the pockets and i normally don't like pockets in dresses but this way um, particular dress has got them instead in there i think it's all about the finish and detail that you get in a garment that makes you want to wear things with pockets if they, they, they sit nice and flat i love them and i'll put them in if they stick out depending on your fabric as well I'll leave them out um, so i love the length that kind of midi length i will wear this all year round and i think in this beautiful cotton lawn uh, it is the sort of thing that you can wear for summer and for winter with i wore it yesterday out to a birthday lunch we had a belated birthday lunch for me with most of my kids there was one um my son was missing and my uh other daughters one of my daughter's boyfriends was missing so there's two two less of us than normal but we still had a great time took mum out to a little local pizza place so i just thought you know what why not wear my beautiful dress because if you're always saving things for the best occasions sometimes you don't get to wear those things and i think after being in lockdown last year it made you really uh, miss those lovely dresses and having an occasion to wear things out and you know you, you wear your sweatpants and comfy things around the house and you really miss those lovely pretty dresses or having an occasion to wear a dress so as soon as an occasion comes up now i just grasp onto it and wear my nice dresses because otherwise they don't get worn so you need to make sure you're wearing the things that you make and just wear them with pride and if people comment on them you'll be surprised the comments that you'll get when people see a beautiful handmade garment in a really creative print something individual um, you'll be surprised uh, you'll turn some heads and maybe wearing a bit of color sometimes can make you feel really good so i started with a pair of uh, jade green kind of woolen knit tights and some little green boots and i wore my um, tazuti brooklyn um, boiled wool coat over the top and i was really cozy and warm um, but I still felt great. I had green on head to toe, which I love green. And you can also make it in a knit fabric, a lighter knit fabric as well. So a lot of style art patterns give you the choice of making woven or knit in a lot of their dresses, which I love that because it can really make you experiment then. Um, yeah, and the instructions on this are really easy to follow. A lot of people do say style art instructions are really sparse and they sometimes are, but if you're a quite a confident sewer, maybe you're more of an intermediate um, sewer, so you won't have a problem following their instructions. If you get, and they do say on the pattern, if it's a beginner pattern or an intermediate or more of an advanced, they will let you know that. So before you tackle it, you can really get through those instructions and have a look and make sure it's up to what you can tackle. But um, also I wanted to show you too, I bought some lovely tags from Lindsay at Sew to Grow, Sewing Seams and Chasing Dreams. I'll show you up close. 
but you will get a variety of little uh, tags in the little tins to keep there as well so I'll find some more and show you now this is a lovely fabric from cloth edit I know a lot of you went on to try and find this uh, and she sold out of it at cloth edit also do have a lot of beautiful uh, range of con cottons and linens as well and the tag on this one says beautiful so that's another little tag there from soda grows tags but this is an ashton top helen's closet ashton top you'll know is a sleeveless style little cropped top two different crop lengths you can make it with a face neck or a binding i've used a bias bound neckline and i've put the add-on sleeve hack now you can get the sleeve hack of course at helen's um online store there if you've already got the ashton top think about getting the sleeve hack because i've made it for summer in the tulip sleeve there's a flutter sleeve there's a long kind of a just well, not, not really a bell sleeve but in between i really like that length sleeve and i love the way that she has that nice deep cuff on the bottom but really simple little top really basic lovely um deep faced hem as well and it gives it that structure and you get to do the under stitching on the bottom of the hem it just sits really lovely it's got a little bit longer back to the front which i really like as well that curved hem um, but the helen's closet ashton top is a great one for showing off a really pretty fabric you want a basic style um, top really happy with how that one came up as well i'll be wearing that all year round too because it's a cotton linen blend now some time ago i told you guys that i was on my jacket making journey and i wanted to make a pleather or faux leather jacket and i found the great little jacket pattern from pattern union here in australia and that's sarah that runs that pattern site and the felix jacket can be made in lots of different lengths and you can pop on zippers you can just leave the curved front like a bolero length you can make it really long like the, i think she called it the opera length as well so there's lots of different variations on that one i wanted to try uh make maybe make a wearable 12 before i went and bought maybe some nice leather one day which i will be doing eventually um and i bought some uh, uh, pleather or just some vinyl you call it um pleather plastic leather same thing for me and vinyl's vinyl but um you do sometimes get some nice faux leathers really soft ones and this one is a bit more plasticky and i was concerned it would come up a bit more stiff to when i was wearing it as far as the pattern goes it is a gorgeous shape pattern and i'm really really happy with how the pattern uh, itself turned out the fabric choice not so much i loved the color i love how it came up with the lining underneath i just think it sets it off beautifully uh you can see that one says sewing seems chasing dreams again too there but the problem when you're sewing with a more of a um, plasticky vinyl is when you're doing things like your curves with binding with self binding you don't get that sort of malleable feel uh, to manipulate the curves and i must say i don't think i did a bad job i just think when i popped it on to wear it felt a bit stiff and it's probably not something i'm going to reach for to be honest i'm probably not going to wear it but uh, I love the fit of the coat. I love the way that the underarms have got that kind of gusset. Uh, it feels really comfortable as far as the style goes. I really loved it. But I loved it enough that I made two more to show you because I really am very happy with the pattern. It's not the pattern's fault. It's the fabric choice I made. That happens a lot when, you, when you're making patterns that you may not have made before, especially things like jackets because you need to get that fit right and then experiment with fabrics later on. I will show you the other versions I've made that I did enjoy wearing. This one I loved. It was made in a Melton cashmere blend wool and this was from super cheap fabrics i bought it online a couple of years ago this fabric but i've noticed now just this past week they have got a whole range of colors they've got bright fuchsias bright lime greens bright purples mauves so it's a beautiful warm fabric to wear when i did purchase it a couple of years ago i thought it feels really like a lot heavier than what i thought i think uh i thought being cashmere blend it might be a bit more soft and there's no drape to it really at all but it is beautiful and warm to wear uh, definitely would buy more of this fabric to make another one of these jackets and i decided to do the angled pocket with a little bit of a binding on there from that gorgeous fabric from the uh, ashton top i made um, i did some edge stitching uh, with my faff my vintage faff the uh, 120 1220 uh, and i experimented with that because it got through the fabric 
with ease. Um, this kind of thicker weight fabric, sometimes you may struggle with with um, a machine that's maybe not ready to tackle um, that thicker kind of woolen weight. But if you've got a walking foot, I would highly suggest using a walking foot if you're sewing with this. The FAF got through it, no worries. It has got an IDT, like a built-in walking foot, which is great. Uh, to sew things like this. Great thing about this Patton Union Felix jacket is you can finish it all with a bias bind, bias bound uh, around the facings there. You don't need any facings. So it's a really simple make. I just turned it on the inside and top stitched with a bit of black bias binding. But I decided to do Hong Kong finish on the inside with that gorgeous um, bias binding that I made because I didn't line it. I felt that um, I didn't really need to line it at all. I wanted to show off that lovely binding. And it gives a really nice clean look to the inside of the garment. Um, but yeah, I just thought what a way to use up some beautiful bias binding if you want to show it off on a nice um, nice coat or jacket for winter. And if you don't want to tackle anything with lining, you feel it's a bit much or you just haven't got the time and energy to put into a lined coat, think about doing that because you can do it gradually. But I was much happier with how the Felix jacket turned out in this uh, lovely wool from Super Cheap Fabrics jump online for $20 a meter. I think I used just under two meters for this one. It was 1.5 for a shorter one. So that can be a really affordable little coat for winter and a, and a woolen coat at that to keep you warm. Definitely the sleeve, having that gusset sleeve really helps um, making it more comfortable to wear, especially when, when you're putting things underneath it as well. So love the pattern. The Felix jacket is a great, it's a little winner for me. I'll definitely make more of these. I wanna show you the third one I made. Now I went racing back to Spotlight and bought some more vinyl. This time I got more of a soft, almost stretch. It's got a little bit of stretch in it. I'll show you. Um, this is like a caramel kind of toffee color. It's more of a pleather. If you're wanting it soft leather, this is uh, a much better choice than what the vinyl was. You'll see it's got a bit of stretch in there. It's got a bit of elastine, which is great for fitting. And I've made the little bolero shaped I love this one on it's a much better fit on me it's more comfortable to wear so I'll definitely be wearing this I've got the little tag on there sparks joy <laughs> I love all of her tags they're really really fun now you may have noticed I've got a new logo for the Dahlia Society I added into the start of my introduction and I'm going to be printing myself out some uh, little uh, tags with Dahlia Society as well so I can start sewing my own tags with my own logo into my clothes so really happy with how they have come up but yeah the uh, Patton Union Felix jacket definitely happy and it does depend on what you sew with this stretchier fake leather is much better to work with especially when you're doing things like your binding but it was fiddly I must say using the leather or faux leather binding it's not easy to get it really neat and if you do make a mistake and you make those pinholes they will be visible so I was really lucky that I got through that without making any errors there on the front binding. There's a couple of bits I do go back over and sew um, when you're bite, you know, folding the binding over. But in general, I'm pretty happy with how that one has come up much more than the uh, plasticky. I just love that green color. If I can find that green color in more of a stretchier kind of faux leather, I'll be snapping it up. But yeah, you, learn, you live and learn, don't you? Now my last two makes were some lovely fleece uh, garments that I've made. This one was from the Sew House 7 Cosmos sweater. The fabric was from Fabric Store Online and it was a beautiful Liberty Lindford fleece. Now they do have some fleeces online there now, but they are not the same as this one has a brushed inside, really soft fleece feeling. The ones they've got online now are more of the loop back, like more like a French terry to me. This fleece, I love. If they had more, I think there might be one more variety with this backed fleece. Uh, I will link it below if they do have it. It's a different print, but I love the print in this. It's just a gorgeous top to wear. The boxy shape of it is lovely. The Cosmos sweater is a really pretty um, wind cheater or uh, sweater to style top to wear. You can make it with a higher neck, um, but I've just gone for the straight size 14 fits me beautifully it's got that lovely uh, bottom facing there which makes it sort of sit really nicely over a pair of jeans or sweatpants um, and the sleeve has got more of a kind of long open kind of sleeve without the cuff on the bottom but yeah you can do the two, two different versions in this depending on what look you're going for but love the Cosmos sweater and the last make I have here for June was another one that you guys all loved. And that's the Hey June Handmade. That is the Sitka sweater from Hey June. It's a gorgeous chevron top. I've done this in um, Mind the Maker. I'll see you at six. I can't remember what it was now, but it was from Fabric Hunt as well. 
I'd gone for the same color binding as the top layer. You can do it in a ombre if you want to do the same color but different shades. That works beautifully as well. Uh, it's a really roomy style top. I made a size 16. I think next time I would definitely go down to a 14. Even though it's snuggly and nice and big and warm, I think maybe that one size down might make all the difference to the fit of it. But as always, have to alter the length of the sleeve before the cuff goes on. This is to make the, that's just an alteration I always do now but really loved how that came up. Now, this is my old Instagram logo name. It was called Queen of Dahlias before I was Dahlia Society. So I've still got some of these tags left over as well. But my new tags are coming from the Dutch label shop. So I'll be really excited to show you when they come. Um, and yeah, I've sort of customized the logo and the size of the tags. So really exciting when things like that happen, you can kind of customize your own labels maybe. Uh, yeah, so really keen to show you those. So they are my June makes. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too long and tedious for you. But I'm really excited to make uh, myself maybe another Pat and Union Felix jacket eventually, maybe for next winter. But love the way that woolen one has come up. My favourite one out of all of them. Isn't it funny? Because it's the fabric that I had in the stash that I just thought, look, I'm going to whip that out, sew it up, and I'll just see how it comes up. But that was the one I love the most. So sometimes... You can go to the trouble of searching for fabrics and for linings and you may have that fabric sitting there in the stash that can work best out of you know, the best out of all of them. So it's it's really weird how that happens. So I hope you've enjoyed that today. If you've enjoyed that, don't forget to give this episode a thumbs up because that helps other sewers like you find my channel. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that notification bell to be alerted to any new episodes that are coming out. Now I'm going to have... A lovely episode coming out for all of you guys in the Northern Hemisphere or anyone here in Australia even that wants a bit of summer inspiration. If you sew a season ahead, I'm going to show you every woven summer top that I made that I wore this summer, this previous summer, to hopefully inspire you to get some sewing done. I had such a great response from the summer dress episode that I've had people asking for this uh, tops episode. And I know a lot of you guys here in Australia are like, show us the winter things. We want to see more winter things. So I'm trying to mix those episodes up so I give uh, all of my audience and my viewers a bit of everything to look at. It's it's really hard when you're, when you're in the Southern Hemisphere and you're watching everyone making their summer things and it's the same when it's reversed and you're kind of pining for that nice warm summery weather. But yeah, the winter things, I think I love sewing winter clothing. I really don't have a favorite winter and summer. Give me it all. I'm really happy to sew anything, but I hope you've enjoyed it today. So take care, look after yourself and happy sewing. Bye for now.